you have any idea who I am? If some rich guy calls you on the phone, I want to speak with you about what you hope to achieve. What do you hope to achieve, Mark? I want to be the best in the world. Good. Hi, this is Bina Double Eight Seven back for another ten minute spoiler free movie review today of the critically acclaimed film Foxcatcher, which is due out in the UK in the new year. Foxcatcher is based very loosely on the case of the murder of the wrestling coach Dave Schultz by the incredibly wealthy patron of wrestling amongst many things, John Dupont in nineteen ninety six in the USA. Um, John Dupont, as portrayed by Steve Carell of all people, what I really think is a career-defining performance, totally away from comedy, utterly sinister, delivered under heavy prosthetics. Steve Carell's John Dupont is um, a man who has grown up in huge privileged wealth on the east coast of the United States, in an atmosphere that's utterly enabling. In other words, anything that he wants, he gets, whether it's a helicopter, whether it's cocaine, whether it's the ability to try to dominate the sport that he loves, which in this case is Olympic wrestling. Using his wealth, he can really insinuate himself into the lives of the pro athletes that he so admires and almost project an image of himself as a great and illustrious leader. This sort of self-delusion, this this uh, this personality that he's trying to project as the golden eagle, the utter, ultimate leader, is sometimes laughable, but it's certainly tragicomic. And what's particularly wonderful and ambiguous in this portrayal is that we're never quite certain how far John Dupont is aware of his own machinations. So, for instance, when he's engaging in a wrestling bout and effectively paying off the opposition to lose to him, on one level, he's operating in a reality where he is the winner. And on another level, clearly, he knows what he's doing. So there's this incredibly slippery sort of, is he psychotic? Is he just a very, very spoiled, enabled man kind of performance going on? And I think Steve Carell deserves incredible praise for pulling off this character that's, you know, so complex and so nuanced. In the movie, where we where we start, um, is with actually these two brothers, Mark Schultz, played by Channing Tatum, and Dave Schultz, played by his um, played by Mark Ruffalo, and they they also have their slightly sort of uneasy relationship, whereby Mark is the more successful. He is already sorry, whereby Dave is the more successful. He's an Olympic champion. He seems to be incredibly emotionally settled. He's married, um, has kids. And he's um, engaging in uh, coaching. And then he has his kid brother, Mark Schultz, Channing Tatum, who seems to be incredibly insecure and vulnerable and living in the shadow of his elder brother. And therefore, when he sees this chance to train under the aegis of John Dupont, jumps at it. Because here is a man who wants to be this golden eagle father figure and, and another man who desperately wants a father figure. And so at first, this relationship works very well. It's a relationship that both sides are getting something out of. Where everything changes is when John Dupont realizes that in order to get Olympic wrestling success, he's going to bring in the elder brother Dave as a coach. And this completely upsets that rather unhealthy dependency because suddenly the kid brother is like, well, I thought I was the special one. I thought I was your child and now you're bringing in this other guy. And so that brings in a kind of a jealousy. But similarly, you have um, John Dupont now having to face another source of of claim upon the younger brother. So it almost becomes this rather bizarre triangle. And the only kind of stable guy, the one in the middle of it, is the one who ultimately pays the price um, when John Dupont goes, well, does he go mad? It's contested. But almost very calmly, coolly drives up to the house and shoots him at point-blank range in front of his wife and children. The story of itself is fascinating and the movie that has been created around the story I think is really exceptional. Um, the film's directed by Bennett Miller who directed Moneyball famously 
Um, but actually, I think it's a little bit more similar in tone to his previous film, Capote, because it's an incredibly chilling film. And it's filmed, photographed in this very cool way. It's always in neutral to cool tones, this this wonderful sort of heritage stud farm upon with which this wrestling coaching takes place is almost claustrophobic in its isolation and utterly chilled to the bone. I love the casting of the film. I think Channing Tatum um, sort of captures the sort of the naivete, the sort of, um, you know, the sort of Boy Scout patriot who wants to believe in the myth of Jean Dupont. But then again, it's a very good acting performance because he very convincingly and authentically takes us into this position where he becomes incredibly self-loathing to the point of destroying the body, which should be the means of his success. And as I said, you know, Steve Carell, it's it's very... Um, elegantly done his performance, a subtle tilt of the head, just managed to perfectly convey this very sinister personality. And and frankly, the person who's almost a scene stealer is Vanessa Redgrave as the mother. Um, the mother that, uh, you know, we only see her in scenes, but we, it speaks to why John Dupont might be so wildly bizarre. The result is a film that I think is something of a treatise on the dangers of wealth, the dangers of getting everything that you want and not having anyone who is able to remind you of when you're becoming excessive or to stop indulging you. But it's also, in a sense, a very tragic love story. Um, and I don't mean sexual love. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if there was that kind of um, eroticism to the tinging the relationship between John Dupont and, and the Schultz brothers, but certainly this very obsessive, codependent and incredibly unhealthy relationship that was going on between, you know, the wrestling coach, the wrestler, and then this brother who got in between. Um, ultimately, it makes for an incredibly cold incredibly grim viewing experience it's intense it never lets up it's slow it's slow paced it's it's a slow build tense thriller but i found it incredibly gripping and i and i truly believe it's bennett miller's best film to date so i would strongly urge you to see it but be prepared for a very cool calm sinister watch so of course i i thoroughly recommend the movie foxcatcher if you've seen it and agree or disagree with my take, feel free to comment on the blog at beena007.com. 